Hello and welcome to Contact Squirrel. My name is Mike Cotton and I am one of the developers for Contact Squirrel. And I wanted to show you a quick overview about Contact Squirrel and all of its features. Uh, first of all, you'll notice the home page. To sign up for a free account, you can click the button here or just scroll down to where the pricing is. And you see there's three options. All three of these options take you to create your free account. And then later on, when the free trial is over, you'll have to pick your option at that time. So clicking here just creates your free account. It's very easy to do so. Now, I am already logged into my account and um, I don't need to create a free one. So <laughs> when you log in, you'll be uh, first taken to the dashboard. So the dashboard shows you some news, your scheduled follow-ups, some tasks, if you have any, any contacts that you have in your um, account. Uh, but I wanted to focus your attention to this little icon that's next to the title of the page. If you click that icon, it opens up a kind of a slide out a sidebar that has a little video tutorial in there. I worked hard to make these video tutorials, so I hope you would go ahead and check those out. And uh, hopefully this will be more custom to what page you are on. As you can see, this one's specifically for the dashboard. But if I were to go to the contacts view all page, I click that icon and it would show me the view all contacts tutorial and some information about it. So if ever you need more information about it, you can click those icons to check things out or down in the bottom left hand corner, we have a button that is our support department. If you click that, it'll show you an article as well, but you can always type a question in and that will be sent to our support staff and we will help you out as quickly as possible. With that said, let me continue the overview. On every page, you'll notice the menu has links to all the pages within your site. And also at the top, you'll see a video overview, which actually takes you to this video. A new contact, which you can add from any page. And also your user menu um, resides under your avatar and your username. If you click that, you'll see the user menu, which takes you to my account. Another link for support, which just opens up the same window down below. And then a way to log out there. So in each of these menus will uh, take you to a different page and a different portion of the contact squirrel, a different feature. And each of these pages, like I mentioned, have a tutorial for them. So a brief overview of all the links. Under contacts, you'll see your view all, which actually lists out all your contacts. We also have a way to import contacts using a CSV file. Under My Templates, My Templates is a great way to store information. Um, if you send out emails over and over again, the same email over and over again, this is a great way to store that. And we make it real easy for you to copy the information into an email. Uh, also, the same for texts. You can store your text templates here. Any scripts that you might have, if you um, do a lot of phone calls, this is a great way to jot down what exactly what you're going to say to those people and keep record of it for the next person that you're going to have to talk to. And then we have a way to quickly add tasks to a contact with task groups. And with any of these, you will click the uh, icon here and it will show you a overview, a more detailed overview of each of the template uh, links. Under personal notes, we have your tasks, which is basically your to-do list, and important dates, which is just keeping track of any dates that are upcoming for you personally. And then important information is basically anything you want to jot down and just keep for yourself. Under the share um, is your share set, which is a way to share information to other contact squirrel users. And this is the way it looks um, when you're when you're setting it up, uh, but under shared sets, uh, if people enter your share code in, they will be able to view that same information in a bit different way. They can't edit anything, but this is a great way to share information with other contact squirrel users. So if you have a team or something like that, um, you can use this for your advantage. And then uh, 
The My Account page has a lot of settings, uh, date and time settings, a redeem coupon code, notification preferences. This is where you can set up your billing and you can upgrade your account. And also you can unsubscribe from here. And then setting up your Google Calendar integration if you choose to do that. And also a button to log out. And that is basically Contact Squirrel. And this is a great way and a unique way of keeping up with your contacts and managing them and organizing them in whatever way you want. And uh, Contact Squirrel is a great contact management system wrapped up in a nutshell. If you have any questions or concerns or any feedback or any ideas that you'd like to see, um, go ahead and click that question mark in the bottom left hand corner. Leave us a message and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks a lot and enjoy Contact Squirrel.